we have the U.S. putting pressure on the sale of TikTok. We have China uh, coming out to say, you know, it wants control over that sale. To your understanding, how serious is China in blocking the sale? Is this uh, possibly a tactic to delay the sale? Uh, is it uh, an option for China to show that it is retaliating? What's your understanding of the situation right now? Well, um, you know, the latest uh, regulation in terms of uh, technology exports, I think it's uh, a carbon copy of what the U.S. has been doing for years and decades. Um, what this means for TikTok, uh, clearly it has shown uh, a new uh, snack uh, in the ongoing talks, you know, create a new dimension of uncertainty. But, um, you know, intention is not necessarily uh, blocking the sale or any, you know, uh, market-based transaction. Um, so, you know, uh, much more clarity uh, need to be uh, uh, sought. But, um, you know, uh, could it be given everything going on, the sheer complexity, you know, this is just a, a new dimension of uh, uh, fresh uncertainty. Uh, do you see China's rule change scaring off perhaps potential buyers for TikTok? I very much doubt so. I think, you know, uh, TikTok aside, you know, the Chinese authorities view this might be a missing piece, uh, you know, uh, in terms of, uh, you know, the regulation of uh, technology industry. Uh, obviously, traditionally, China is not a major export of technology. Uh, although this has changed, you know, dramatically with the, the rise of a vibrant, you know, highly innovative domestic tech sector, you know, as TikTok is just one of the many uh, great examples. So the Chinese authorities actually, you know, have taken a cue from uh, Washington that there may be, you know, a full kind of right the strategic or national reasons that they need to have a review regime. They're not saying they're going to block uh, exports of technologies, but they say they would need to review and uh, give a license. Uh, so that's exactly what yours has been doing. Certainly, yours has been doing, you know, for many, many years, uh, as far as um, its technology license and approval regime uh, when it's applied to China. Uh, Fred, you're an investor in ByteDance. For ByteDance investors, what's the best case scenario? What's the best case outcome? Well, the basic case scenario, of course, you know, uh, ByteDance uh, as such a highly innovative um, company uh, and, and the, the founder's vision, you know, he's an engineer, you know, he's not uh, a politician of any kind. He just wants to build the best products and the uh, apps, you know, for users worldwide. Uh, that would be the best case scenario. So that's a reflex of more benign era for the whole world economy. That um, you know, uh, so what's happening right now? Um, you know, this is just um, uh, it's still shocking. You know, after a couple of weeks, you know, I really have a hard time to believe this is happening. That the most um, uh, developed uh, democratic nation, long, you know, prize itself being a, a champion of law, could brut brutally, uh, you know, uh, ban a private company or threaten to, um, you know, basically, you know, taking a size of revenue, force a sale and, and taking a size of revenue. So that's a blatant appropriation of private property. Fred, is the best outcome for ByteDance investors also the best outcome for, you know, Zhang Yiming and also the Beijing government? In your view, and you are... Uh, you know, within the inside circle, uh, how do you view what's best for them? Well, you know, the best I would have said, right, so, you know, TikTok should be really uh, able to continue to survive. Obviously, you know, uh, be compliant with the laws, regulations, uh, addressing, you know, whatever the concerns, legitimate concerns, whether it's privacy or national security. Um, like any other social media companies, including Facebook, Twitter, you know, everyone else I would have to uh, grapple with. Uh, 
uh, slightly basis in the case scenario. But the second, um, you know, based I would assume second basis, you know, uh, you know, as just been reported, um, you know, uh, you know the, the talks with Microsoft and maybe you know Walmart, uh, you know, could um, you know uh, bear fruits uh, at least, you know, for creators and the users, you know, in the US, they can continue to you know use the app. So you know, if you know uh, that would be owned and opted by uh, another company like Microsoft, which I think is highly credible. Uh, company, uh, that, at least from a user point of view, that's still uh, 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 you know not a bad outcome. Fred, in your view, what is TikTok worth? Sorry, I couldn't comment. Uh, you know, I just think this is uh, you know one of the most uh, innovative, uh, popular uh, technology companies in the world. So you know, and it's been the growth has been. Uh, uh, nothing short of breathtaking. Um, so obviously, you know, as we have seen many other uh, peers in the technology sector, they will obviously uh, be given uh, pretty high valuation. Um, I wouldn't, uh, you know, want to put any certain number here. So that's been subject to uh, discussion among the interested parties and with the you know, by dance.